I got a friend. Come on, Levy. You rehearse like everybody else. I'm gonna get me a band and make me some records. I know how to play real music, not this jug band shit. You call that playing music? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Go on and find me, I don't care. When I got there, they began to say. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is a new Netflix movie inspired by the real-life blues legend and adapted from the play by two-time Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright August Wilson. The film, which can be seen beginning on December 18th, is produced by Denzel Washington and directed by George C. Wolfe. It is led by Viola Davis and the late Chadwick Boseman with a cast chock-full of Broadway talent, including today's guests, Coleman Domingo, Michael Potts, and Glenn Turman. Welcome, gentlemen. And congratulations, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous movie. Tell me what it feels like for you to have this coming out into the world. Feels like a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. What can I say, right? Yes. It's about beauty and it's about um, fighting for all the things we've been trying to fight for this year. Uh, representation, um, dismantling systemic racist <laughs> institutions. So now we have a tool. Here we are, we have a film for you. <laughs> Something for you to eat up. Throw away your white book and look at these black folks talking about black people's stuff and things that matter. <laughs> so many actors say that they love to do August Wilson plays, and this feels like a little bit of a playground for actors as well. Tell me a little bit about why actors always love August Wilson works. The language. It's about us. It's the way we speak. And it offers that challenge. It, it, it offers us to, to, to give reverence to our history and to our culture and allow us to be our authentic selves. And you guys all play musicians. Tell me about the musicality of doing that. Bradford Marcellus, of course, did the music for the film. And there's the musicality of the language as well. Yeah, well, we all had to learn our instruments, become um, proficient enough to um, to make uh, Branford Marcellus proud. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, no one's going on tour with him or anything, but you know, we're, uh, we, we, did, we did take to it because I think, you know, just know that, you know, our instruments are everything, the way they, the way they uh, fit in with each other. You even have to know sort of like, you're playing a, a true ensemble and the way you play off each other is so important. So it is very musical. And I think that we all have some music backgrounds in some way, shape or form. And I feel like that, we leaned into that because you need that to do my Rainey's Black Bottom. We had an opportunity to all go out together uh, along with Bradford to a jazz club in Pittsburgh and uh, watch him command the space that we entered uh, for, due to the respect that he got, he got it and uh, watched the band and listened to the, the musicians step up their game because he was in the building. And so we got a sense of what it was like to walk around with a music star of this decade you know, such and be a part of that. So we, we kind of had our, sh our chest puffed up a little bit when we, were, when we were sitting there having drinks with Bradford Marcellus. And of course, you also have to have the chemistry of the band. Tell me about getting this band together and figuring out how to bond as people and as actors. Well, you know, we're all in the theater and we, you know, there's a, the adage in the theater that the place where you really get to know each other is the pub. So we had some dinners and, and just got together and just, um, just got to know each other's, you know, what we care about, their families, um, just, you know, just all those things that make us human. I think that we all know this, that's part of the practice. That's, that's just as important as rehearsal, to get to know your fellows so you can establish this real uh, great well of love and trust so you can fly uh, by the time we are in front of camera. So that's what we did. We went out a lot and had some good food. Pittsburgh was pretty good for food. Yeah, it was. And tell me about working with Viola Davis and with Chadwick Boseman in his final role. Well, you know, I didn't, you know, at the time, didn't know that it, that it would be his final role. To me, it was just like, wow, okay, here's his, his uh, T'Challa. I'm working with the king. <laughs> with Black Panther. <laughs> I'm working with Viola Davis. So, uh, you know, Goldman Domingo and Glenn Turman. So it was all, uh, you know, sort of pinch me moment to begin with. And then you realize that these are just just incredibly gifted, intelligent, generous, uh, uh, prodigiously talented people uh, who just respected the work, respected one another and were there to, to, to do our very, very best. And so it just became family. Glenn, what about this story moved you? I don't want to give away anything. So that, uh, but it has a, um, it resonates 
with today's uh, um, whole movement of uh, Black Lives Matter. It, it really res resonates with that. And it addresses uh, black on black uh, um, behavior, the way that we treat one another. It, it, it addresses that in a profound way. It's amazing how, how relevant it still is compared to when uh, August wrote about it and the times that he wrote about in this particular production. This might be an introduction to some people, mm -hmm. not just of August Wilson, but of Ma Rainey. What do you want people to know about this story as they get into it, as they're about to go see it or, or go see it in their homes? I think it's a great exploration right now of this woman who has been such a pioneer, um, not only as a woman in the blues industry, but also as an openly gay woman and how she really did, broke down barriers. And she really, um, she was that one ferocious spirit who, who, made, who stood up for her worth. You know, she, she stood there and said, I will wait until you get me what you said you would get me, or we are not going to do this thing. And that's, there's a, as we know, we're in the theater, there's, there's a rare breed that will actually do that. And when you do it, it's so unsexy. But sometimes they've got to take the knocks for other people, and they do it. And uh, Ma Rainey is that. And it's dynamic. It's dynamic. It's beautiful. It's deep in history and great music. And um, it's doing all the things, especially that I know right now I miss the theater so much. So I think this is a beautiful adaptation that makes us still feel um, so connected to the theater at this time. Well, thank you all for joining me. It's a gorgeous film. Thank I don't you. think anyone's going to count to three again without you, Coleman. And when you see the film, you understand right. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Beth. Thank you so much. Come on! Come on! Oh, we got that boy. <laughs> Good session, Mom. We got our top performers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.